Hello Techies, this is Miguelina Betty aka Catwoman from Tech Valor and in this video I'm going to show you how I share my desktop audio while using StreamYard. Now if you're wondering, is this deja vu? Yes, and that is because I've already done a tutorial like this. Now I am doing this again because there's another method and it's better than the one that I did. Uh, you can actually find this video on StreamYard's own YouTube channel. I'll provide the video right here and you can check it out. Now I noticed that when I follow that person's instructions, it didn't work for me. I had to tweak it a little bit here and there, like change the settings and it worked for me. So I'm going to show you the settings that I placed on my computer and that way you can try it out and see if it works for you. Also there is another part of the settings that's different than that person and that is that I don't like to use voice meter banana as my default speaker or audio. So I'll show you how to set it as secondary. Another thing that I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to set up a soundboard so you can have fun like I do making sound effects like <laughs> while you're live. <laughs> oh, also, this only works for Windows users. I apologize for Mac users out there. All right, techies, stay tuned for the tutorial. Installation. Here we are at the VB Audio software website specifically to download the Voice Meter Banana program. I'll leave a link in the description. When I scroll down, you'll see that there's only an option to download it for Windows version. There isn't a Mac version of this type of program for you to install. I'm going to download the exe file. So I'll just click install. And then I will open up this file and then I'll click install. Alright, it says that the installation has been successful. Now I need to reboot my computer in order for it to finalize. So I'll click OK. And I will restart my computer right now. Configuration. So the first thing I do is make sure that all of the desktop audio is going to the voice meter banana. And the way that I do that is by clicking on the audio. Now when you install it, it'll automatically want to put it to this one, which is VB Audio Aux Input, and it says Aux here at the end. The one that I choose is actually this one, Voice Meter Input VB Audio, Voice Meter Vio, Vio, <laughs> Vio, <laughs> okay, that one. So now I'm going to pull up the Voice Meter Banana program. I just search for it or just type banana <laughs> and I click on the application and this is what it looks like when you're first setting up everything for the hardware out this is where you want the sound to come out of where you can hear I'm going to choose my headset I'm gonna click on a1 and I'm gonna choose speakers real tech audio because those are my headset. Everyone's is different. Just make sure it's WDM. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is set up my microphone. And my microphone just so happens to be part of my headset. So I'm gonna choose the same one, WDM Microphone Realtek Audio. And I'm going to uncheck A1 this make sure that there's no echo when I'm listening to everything back so I'm not hearing myself while I talk and then I'm also going to unchoose B1 and I'm going to choose B2 the next thing I'm going to do is set up the desktop audio information over here so I'm going to keep this at A1 I'm going to take off B1 put B2 these are the settings that work for me and just to make sure that there isn't any residuals, I like to just uncheck everything here as well. And then you don't necessarily have to uncheck these over here, but I also like to do that as well. It doesn't really affect anything, but I just like to do that. And I keep everything at zero decibels, so everything is all leveled. 
and you need to keep this program on when you want to share your desktop audio so i'm just going to minimize it and i'm going to pull up Streamyard, and we'll test it out to make sure that all of the settings are a success so i created a broadcast in Streamyard, and i'm going to enter the studio but i'm not going to go all the way in because I want to see this indicator go up and down. So I'm seeing this indicator go up and down, which is great because it means that it's picking up my microphone, right? And just to ensure we have everything correct, right here where it says audio, right here, the speaker is this one, Vio, right? And then right here, we have voice meter aux output, voice meter aux Vio. So this is the one that you wanna choose. Just take note of that. Again, you'll see that it's going up and down. And what I'm also going to test is if it'll pick up the audio of the desktop. So I'm just going to click this test. And if this meter goes up and down, that means it's working. All right, so see the microphone is picking up any sound that is coming from the desktop. and. The way that I did these settings is that if you bring in a guest, they're not going to be able to hear that. So there isn't going to be an echo, but you're also going to be able to hear what your guest says and also what is happening in the desktop, but it's not going to create an echo, which is very, very, very important. Another way we can test it is by pulling up a video. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up a tab here and open up a video. All right, so we'll play a video of mine. That way there's no type of copyright involved. So I'm not gonna say anything and I'm gonna play this video. Hello Techies, this is Miguelina Betty, AKA Catwoman from Tech Valor, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yeah! All right, so you'll see that it worked. Soundboard. One of the fun things that I like to do when I share my audio is actually create a soundboard. My favorite site to go to to create a soundboard is voicey.network. People upload tons of meme style audios that you can use and you can create your own soundboard. So it's very easy. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. So I'll put the link to this website and I'm gonna go ahead and create my account. Uh, don't forget to confirm your email address now you can choose some of the soundboards that they already have there or ones that people have made. It'll show you like the most recent soundboards that people have made, things like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and create my own soundboard. So to create a soundboard, you can't just go to my soundboards and create one. You have to do it by choosing an audio and then create a soundboard. So um, for example, let's go here to cheering. Here, here we go. Kids cheering. I like it. I just wish that there wasn't like a gap before it actually started. I wish it would just start right away for when I hit play. But, you know, I'm just demonstrating this. So I'll go ahead and click on the plus button over here. And then I'll click create new soundboard. So I'm going to choose a title. Live streaming. And I'll hit create. All right. And then, just because you created doesn't mean that you already added this, so you're gonna have to click add. Add. So it says it's been added. Done. Here is another popular one. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this one. You can also add your own audio as well. You have to go over here, hit upload button, and then choose a file. So I have some sound effects here. And I'm gonna choose this sound here that says Yeet. And open it up. You can also explore YouTube. Yeet. Search. All right. But I'm not gonna do anything like that. I already have my own audio file, so I'm gonna choose that and then I'm gonna do next. Okay, so I found an image and it should let me do it now. Okay, I'm gonna click finish. All 
oh you're welcome for uploading you can also share this with anyone you'd like to and then don't forget to add this sound to your soundboard it doesn't automatically add to the soundboard so i'm gonna go to my uploads i find my sound here i'm gonna hit the plus and i'm gonna hit add okay so i'm gonna go over to my soundbar and here's my soundbar and now you'll see that when i go live if any kind of situation corresponds with whatever sound I want to use, I'll just play it. <laughs> and <laughs> it'll happen in the live stream. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. <laughs> I'll also link everyone to my soundboard so if they want to use it, they can. Voice meter and banana as secondary sound. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, I like to have Voice Meter Banana as the secondary speaker and mic for my computer. So this is how I do it. I go over to the sound icon in the start menu, I right click and I choose sounds. And in recordings, you'll see that it has chosen Voice Meter Aux output as the default one. I don't want it to be my default one. I want it to be the microphone that I have attached to my headset. So I'm gonna go over here to the Realtek Audio and I'm gonna set this as my default device. And then for the playback, it does the same thing. It chooses voice meter, aux input as the default audio. And again, I don't want that to be the main one. I want it to be my headset, which is this one, the Realtek our audio so let me choose that one as the main one and I'm also gonna set it as my main communication device as well and then sometimes I'll want the speaker that is coming out of my desktop in order to be the main one instead of my headset and I will just go over here and choose this one that is my speakers and I'll set it as the device so when I'm ready to share my desktop audio, I just need to remember to go over to sounds and change this to voice meter input so that all the desktop audio will go there. I turn on the voice meter banana program. I enter into a broadcast in the audio settings. I'll just change my default one to voice meter aux output and you know still make sure that voice meter input is the one that's chosen which is by you and I can do a test right here the microphone went up and down as I was testing it and then I'm ready to share my desktop audio and then when I'm done, I just go back to my regular settings. Uninstalling Voice Meter Banana. So you're probably wondering, if this is such a great program, why do I need to uninstall it? Well, it's simple. It's so you can reinstall the updated version. <laughs> I figured I'd provide this information so that it would be a complete tutorial and you'll know just about everything that you need in order to make your live stream successful. I hope this tutorial worked for you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, leave a comment down below and I'll work with you to make it work. Also, share this tutorial with others who might need it. All right, techies, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cat women out.